Welcome back, collective. This is me back with another collective message. Um, let's pray and then we can get straight into it, okay? Father, we thank you for your wisdom. We thank you for your knowledge. We thank you for all that you do for us every single day and our families. We pray that you would cover us with your blood, Jesus. I thank you for purifying this environment. I pray for your spirit and your wisdom to rest in this space and to rest upon me. Let this mind be in me, which is also in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your um, your divine truth, and we pray that you would speak your truth continually. Open our eyes and reveal to us the things that we have not seen and that have been hidden from us. I plead the blood of Jesus over this environment, and I pray that you would bless this space, Lord, and that you would rebind and rebuke all demonic energy. In the name of, in your name, I bind and I rebuke them from this space. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, hi, collective. So, we can get straight into it. Um, there is somebody that's thinking about, like, the times that either you celebrated with them or you had, like, whatever victories or success. There were some really happy moments here. This person feels like there was time of celebration and there was time of joy and, and whatever. And now they're in a planning stage. They want to come towards you to re-spark this or to continue on what you guys built in the foundation um, that was built previously. Based on what this person feels right now, they feel like they're gonna be this would be successful as long as they plan this the right way. They feel like there will be success in this. Um, this is somebody that could have previously fought you off because they were trying to preserve something that they felt was a victory for them. So whatever that could be, there was something that they felt that they had, they either won this or they had some public level of victory in this, or there was just, um, some type of public recognition or something that they were trying to preserve and trying to hang on to in that process they fought you off to the point where it killed out the connection whatever is left is was or whatever was left of the connection died when they started doing that so like when they chose to fight for what they found important that they felt that was a success in their life or that was going to be successful or profitable for them, that's when they ended this with you. And, you know, this person was a little smug about it as well. It's like they turned their nose up at, in the air. They didn't care about anything that you had or they weren't worried about you in any way. They really wanted to step out on this new journey and just turn their back again, you know, turn their back on the relationship and the connection that you guys had established together. Yeah, you guys had a really positive, like you had overall, it was a very good union and it was a, a divine union. It was something that was being really led and orchestrated by the divine. You were supposed to be in a connection with this person to create or to be unconditionally loved and supported. They could be spying this out now and seeing this because this person is spying on you. They walked away with their nose in the air just to turn around and, you know, be in this kind of like very inquisitive energy about you, what you're doing and how you're doing it. And um, whatever it is that they're spying out and they're seeing, they want to come back or they plan on coming back and saying something, you know, it could be something kind of emotionally charged or just a little bit, whatever, but they might come racing in and say something to you in the future. They plan on like, you know, possibly declaring their love or saying something just very kind of like sharp tongued about the connection or whatever. But they want to balance some things out with you. They truly see you as a very earth energy type um, of person. They see you as being very balanced and they see you managing your emotions in regards to whatever was going on very, very well. This person is now stepping into a space where they want to be more emotionally intelligent. And it's like they feel like there was a lot of conflict that they had a hand in that was really hindering you from your purpose or really hindering you from moving forward in life. Or it was just like it caused a lot of like issues for you. 
And they really want to put that to rest because they don't want you to be unbalanced because of them or because of something that they're presenting or bringing is just causing a lot of conflict and strife or jealousy and competition. This person could still be in this energy. This person could really feel like they're still presently in this energy with whatever people these are, but you have risen above it and you've balanced your energy like you've gotten divine assistance and this angelic support to balance this. And this person is really kind of ready to turn their back on any type of like, you know, conflict and confusion because they're having restless nights like this person could be having nightmares they could really be depressed and it shows at night when they're alone it really shows how they sit in the bed and they think about um missed opportunities like they feel like the financial opportunity to partner with you they feel really bad about it they see it like in the future you know, like you made some really good investments or not in the future. They feel like you made some really good investments and you can really count on the things that you've invested in. It's going to be very stable. It's going to create a lot of love and stability. And this will be something that's for generations to come. So like you could have invested in something like literally invested, or you could have just spent time and energy working on a project or, um, this is coming to a point of your career where you are just, you know, it's very evident that you have a very successful career and this is causing this person to lose sleep, possibly nightmares. They are standing in an emotionally aware space. They're very emotionally aware of the conflict that they bring with them, that they carried in this that this is what they want to balance. They want to clear something up with this. Because during their time of self-reflection and going within, this person is thinking like, gosh, there's going to be so many opportunities presented to them in the future. There's going to be so many, um, I don't know. They're thinking about you having a lot of illusions presented in front of you too. And they're kind of concerned about that as well. I don't know why we can, we'll look into it. But they feel like, man, there's just going to be a lot um, going on. There'll be a lot presented to this person in the future. Now they've decided that they, they love you. They have a new found love for you and they want to start some type of new connection. They want to start over or they want to express to you in a different way. They're really thinking about how they take action on nurturing the things that are going to be a long-term investment for them. And they feel like this would be worth the investment to start something new, not something that's just going to be you know, start quickly and then stop just as quickly. Something that really has to be cared for and tended to is kind of like the love that they have for you, like wanting to really patiently um, wait this and nurture this or whatever. Holy Spirit, will you please clarify this for us? Thank you. They feel like you might be, they could look at you like you're bored a little bit. They might see you as being just maybe a little bit bored or you might sit and you might spend a lot of time in isolation, but ultimately it's, it's because you are, um, you're very in tune with a lot of like things that. You're very in tune with nature. You have a very unique side to you. Um, they feel like you can mix and blend with many different people. And they see this as um, because your behavior is like your behavior is justified or something like that. Like you're able to just kind of mix and blend. Or this is them seeing what you do. You know, this certain level of energy that you carry as being um, 
you behaving in the right way or carrying it in the right way. I don't know. Take it how it fits. But it's like, you know, this person is in introspection and they're really thinking about when they fought you away and how they killed off this connection. They feel like they had something to their mindset was certain was a certain way and they wanted to get rid of you or they were in this mindset to fight you off to preserve whatever it was but this person is looking at the way that they thought about this and they don't like the way that this really spiraled out of hand and this could really been because of a third party situation i'm seeing three but they stood in this energy against you. They stood in a very opposing energy against you, a very negative energy against you. And they did and said some things that were really like, it was energetically led by the demonic. Like they feel like they were in a really dark energy trying to come for you or when they fought you off to kill this, um, to kill off this connection. And it's like they turned their nose up at you and they walked away from you just to watch you and now hope and pray that something can be re redone or, um, you know, having this faith. What is this Holy Spirit? That you don't engage with anyone else. They want you to wait for them. They want you to stay chased. They're, they're trying to spy and they're hoping and having faith that you're still, you know, on the market or you're not taken. This is how they, you know, they want you to continue to say or to continue to be in this energy where you're not engaging with um, anyone in a sexual manner because they want to come back in. So it's like they're really praying and hoping that this is the, still the case for you. But they understand that this is taking a risk because they look at this like, okay, while they're being in this immature energy and they would rather sit and spy on you to see if you're with someone, that's a massive risk that they're taking. This is like, if they, they see you as being so valuable, they see you as being so worth so much that they know that if they lose you, that they won't be able to recover from, from that. They couldn't replace you. Not the way that you heal. This would really de destroy this person. They feel like they would be really, really destroyed. There's, there's no way they could hide their true feelings on the inside if um you got into another connection and you started seeing someone else or you started to be in like some type of, you know, very intense love connection romance with someone else, possibly, you know, high level getting engaged, possibly getting married. Like this person, this is the stuff they sit and think about at night. Like they think of the most worst scenarios that could possibly happen, but they feel like there's no possible way they'll be able to hide it. If you get into another connection, they won't be able to, this will transition them and they will just be looking like a zombie. They feel like the spotlight will be just like directly on them. Or this is how they feel about coming towards you and talking to you. They they feel like it's just going to be so uncomfortable for them to just stand and be and bear everything. Like to tell you who they really are and just be everything that they really are in front of your face. Like they feel like there'll be a spotlight put on them. This person could really feel like they made some terrible deal with the devil or they um, made some type of agreement with some people for something it's supposed to be beneficial for everybody or whatever. What is this? Don't you just King of Cups, Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. They are in massive levels of grief because they're like, okay, you, you're an earth angel and it's very clear because you took a higher road, you took a higher position in this and you really balanced your energy. You got divine assistance and you got help. This person could still be um, closely connected to a lot of conflict. You could be dealing with the water sign. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Gemini um, or... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They feel like they're grieving over this because they sat back and they allowed all of this conflict and all of these things to happen. And now they have no choice but to just really process this and let it go. They feel like this was a self-sacrifice. Like they sacrificed something that really meant a lot to them. 
And instead of them, you know, of not being in this energy, I don't know why they were in this energy where they wanted to just go mad and, and get rid of you. But it was like they thought that they could just replace you right away. So this person's grief has really been extended. It's like a time period where this person really thought that they were going to be mourning for maybe 15 I was about to say 15 minutes. No, where they thought that they would even a short amount of time, like maybe they were that arrogant, like, oh, this, so I'll, I won't feel this 15 minutes from now, you know, but the case is there, it's been extended and prolonged because they thought that they were going to find your equal like that. And that's because this person felt like they were the prize. They felt like whatever energy that came out of you was coming out of you because of them. And they could go and replace you and draw that energy out of somebody else. And they were going to show you that. But it's like now their mourning and their grieving has just been extended because they have not found that somebody else. They're still seeking to replace you. And it's like they just end up just in the same situation over and over again because they have to get rid of the not, the la the next one. It's like, okay, nope, this one doesn't do it. It's not, it's not the same. It's still not my person. It's still not my, my person. So let me kill this. Let me get rid of this one <laughs> and then I'll find another one. You know, this is kind of like how they feel because they thought that this would just be temporary. Like, yeah, I'll get rid of you and then I'll go replace you, but they can't. They cannot. And this adds to their grief. So it's like now they're like, dang it, there's something that they haven't shown you. There's something they haven't told you. There's something about who they are on the inside that they want to reveal to you. Like in the future, if they come towards you, they're going to reveal it. Um, I don't know. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you please clarify this Ten of Pentacles and this Nine of Swords? Thank you. They have nightmares and they have restless thoughts. They can't think positive things at night in regards to the potential for this, like this, um, the family potential, the long-term success, the financial, you know, whatever, like this was an, a business opportunity, or if this was like, um, some form of opportunity to earn something very, very stable and successful. This person grieves at night over what they let come between you guys that made you in this way to take this stance like this they feel like you you know like they treated you like you were nothing like you were something to just be left behind you know like they treated you like I don't know but they feel like there was something that came in between that really made them made it seem like they died in your life What else, Holy Spirit? They don't want you to be the martyr anymore. They don't want you to be blamed and punished because of who you are and, you know, the principles that you live by or whatever. It's like in the future, this person feels like this is going to be put on them and they're going to have to you know, really suffer to hold their own position. There might be um, a lot of questioning to this person. There might be a lot of accusations. Like this is really going to turn the light on them where, where people are questioning this person and they're going to feel like a martyr. This person's going to feel like they have to defend whatever actions they decided or whatever belief systems that they have. They don't want to have to do that. Cause they were just, they were a hunter in your life. So it's like, they don't want to be the martyr. They were looking for something that they can put place on you to make you feel bad. But it was like, really, they wanted an excuse. They wanted something to be the reason why. So they didn't have to expose what really came in between you guys and made them there, you know, them basically die out of your life. They were looking for something to pin on that, to make it a reason, you know, Now they want to invest. They feel like in the past, you know, they made a decision or they feel like in the past they should have chosen you. Like in the past, they could have made a different choice and they didn't. But it's like 
they feel like you were the source. You were their source to any type of depth or power or spirituality. You were their source to things just being different for them. Um, you were the source of them being tapped in and connected to something that is much greater. And that's, they feel like they should have chose the, the connection that would last like the connection that was purposed or meant to be or something that would really affect them on more than one level. Like they, they feel like they should have chosen a con the connection that would have fed their, um, their spirit, soul, mind, and body. Maybe they chose a connection that just fed, you know, one aspect of that body, maybe. And this is what all the fighting was about. They feel like it would have been more fighting if they had have chosen you. They they see this as having caused more conflict. So, you know, this person just feels really stuck. They took this position and they tried to defend this position, but now they can't help but feel really, really bad that, you know, you've been left over and left behind. Because they allowed something to come in between you. They chose to stand in this position as a hunter. This person. They could be a people pleaser. They do see like they feel like you have options like this person is going and they're deep diving within themselves and they feel like the options that you have that are coming towards you in your future the level of success in opportunities that are going to be presented to you are going to be so great and so vast that they're not going to be able to recover anything everything will be permanently gone and lost it will be lost. They feel like there's going to be competition or whatever. They're even focusing on like, maybe there'll be illusions. They're hoping that maybe you end up having like, you know, things are just not what they seem. This person's trying to buy time though. I'm going to ask in a second, why are they buying time? They want to start something new though, because they love you very much. They have pure, genuine love for you. And they feel like the love they have for you can reproduce more great things. They're thinking now of how they can turn this into some type of long-term investment so that you don't go away, so that you don't take all of the greatness that you are and all the um, things that you offer and that you, you know, all of the benefits and the great qualities that you bring with you. They see you as someone that will always be there no matter what. If they needed you, they see you as having like this very um, balanced healing energy. This person doesn't want to have a hard journey because of rejecting you or walking away from you or whatever. Um, they could have been trying to hold on to a new opportunity, but then it's just like, now they're realizing that ended your cycle They could, you know, this person could really be concerned about a level up. They could really be concerned about earthly matters. They want money. They want new opportunities. They could be like in a space of goal setting. It could be really good news that you recovered from whatever they sent towards you. That's good news to this person because now they're backtracking, I guess. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm almost done, guys. Shuffling. If it is a level up that they're looking for, they feel like it's going to take some time now because this person was sneaky. They may have um, plotted behind your back. There were some things that they were trying to do. Like they want a new op. They wanted a new opportunity, but this person could be looking for some type of perfection. I don't know. 
they're imagining like how things are gonna go once you guys are in a peaceful state and you and there's you know no conflict or anything like that. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Will you please clarify? Just so you just... <laughs> like I said, they're very happy that what they did didn't work. They're really happy. Hmm. Yeah, they could really be happy too that you moved in silence and you still did what it is that you needed to do. You are very confident. You know how to take action like a leader. Um, this person could think that you're a little pushy at sometimes. That I mean, you don't have to. But it's like, this was a reminder to this person. This was good news to them that whatever was going on didn't work. Um, because there was some deceit that was exposed. There was some deceit that was exposed. There was some things that you didn't see. There was a lot of hidden secrets and contradictions. And it's like you kept a lot um, to yourself as well. They are very happy to see that you're in control and that you're in a whole space, like you're in a space of wholeness, oneness with self. You're firm and, you know, you've been deliberate in what you do. They see, um, yeah, they fought you off and, and killed off this connection. And they're looking back at their mindset and how dark this was, you know, what type of energy they were in. And I think I just said this a few minutes ago, but this is just reoccurring. It just repeated. They are trying to imagine what type of like peacefulness you guys can have together. If this is rekindled, they could feel like they betrayed you. They sold you out. This could be like brother, sisters, or whatever. But yeah, and they feel like ever since they sold you out, you know, like they could have sold you out for jealousy. This could be like a connection where, you know, you're seen as the favorite or the special one or just kind of like a nuisance and Mr. Perfect, Mrs. Perfect kind of. But it's like once you left, once whatever they did to you happened, everything just started to crumble down in their life. So it's like now they walked away in this arrogant energy like a, like a goofball, but then they come right back as a child spying and they're really having faith that you're not going to move on. You're going to stay in this chaste energy and they know they're taking a risk with this, but what is this? They're really jealous of how God accepts your offer and, you know, God sees your offer as being a, a greater form of sacrifice or a greater form of worship than them. And you've evolved into this great and influential um, ruler, king or queen, ruling your life, your home. They really could want to come in and say, hey, this in this ending is like really taking a toll on me. It's just very obvious how hurt I am or, you know, like if this is the end or whatever, it could really, I don't know. This person is just having this rude awakening. Their pride was totally knocked down. So whatever dreams that they had, something Something was shattered. It's a love at first sight. They feel like there's just a lot of adversity and and for to this connection. Just you know, like things just suddenly changed and turned into a very chaotic scene. So they're trying. They're ready to move forward with this plan. Um. They're turning their back on everything else until this arrives. Like they feel all of this grief and how they did you. Like they're just in a lot of heart heartbreak energy right now. 
it makes them heartbroken to see you in your purpose and to feel like they were just loyal to you and love doesn't live, you know, here anymore. They're very uneasy about their future and they feel very tuck. <laughs> tuck. <laughs> they feel very stuck. <laughs> It's like this person is battling their inner demons in regards to this, this level of um, hunter energy, how they let things come in between you, how, you know, they feel like if you move towards other options, they won't be able to recover. Like they think they might end up being the martyr in the future, like they're going to have to defend this or... And they're like, am I willing to die for my beliefs? Like what I really believe and how I treated this individual, this person, am I willing to really like risk my life for this? And this person is using this to gauge whether or not it was worth it for them to do this to you. They hated that they let something come between you and left you behind alone. I don't know, maybe it would have made this person feel better if you had of like gotten another partner or if you were with someone and it was just toxic or it didn't work out or whatever. They just hated that in contrast to their behavior. Your behavior is what it is. But I mean, they're really wondering if you're going to be territorial towards them because, um, they were in this, you know, it's not over until I say it's over kind of energy. So they feel like you might end up standing your ground. They want to give some type of playful apology or whatever. But this inner voice inside of them has them feeling really terrible for how they treated you and what this really looks like. Like if this, if this person listens to their mother, if they have any level of respect and honor for their mother, this is the voice that they're hearing inside their mind in regards to what they did to you collective. It's like they couldn't help but be jealous to someone that was so close to them or that they shared love with, you know. Now they feel like they're racing for time because you are just fully developed. You have earned everything that you have and you're moving ahead. It's like this level of dedication that you have. They see you moving towards better days, just being very assisted by the divine. And it's like, you know, you stand alone in this, in this kind of widow, widower energy but at the same time, you have massive divine intervention and you have the spiritual assistance. You are this prudent person, you know, like you, it doesn't matter if you're alone or not. It's not going to stop you from helping those that need it, even if there's nobody to help you. And that's why the angelic comes to your aid. That's why, you know, the heavenly host will fight for you. And you have this inheritance. This person is like, if this, they're like, if my person moves towards options, illusions, whatever, new relationship or whatever, they're going to gain some type of spiritual wealth and inheritance. They feel like the spiritual backing that you have, like what I was just talking about, the, you have this angelic assistance where you have the angels that come fight for you. They feel like the person that ends up with you will also have that assistance. They could have experienced it to a certain degree when they were with you or connected to you collective. But they're like, man, the level of the level of spiritual assistance, the level of in spiritual inheritance that you carry collective just makes way for new opportunities. You know, it makes way for inner strength. It, it like it wants it, it puts you in a place where you understand your responsibility of self-sacrifice or whatever, because you have so much support. They see this as like really making positive karma and allowing you to enjoy your achievements, to um, really go and give love to other people and receive love from other people. And they feel like you might be territorial about that. Because, you know, like they see this as taking you by surprise. 
they really could be imagining like just how bad it could be, how much pain they might be in or how much sadness they might be in. If you are concentrating on something else and you, you're not going to focus on them, you're focused more on your business or your trade or your skill, this will make them feel like they've gone too far and there might there's no hope for them. And I'm not trying to laugh, but this person... Because they can't stand the fact that they feel like they have an ambitious yet elementary mind. And now they're like, okay, I need to really level up and I need to bring this person a message or some type of good news or say something to them if I don't want this to go anywhere, any uh, further than it's already gone. They see this as like, you know, they tried to defeat you for no reason. They really, they just really wanted to taunt you and you ended up defeating them or, or something like that. They feel like, you know, they didn't think that it was going to align this way when they challenged you. They, they weren't, they weren't placing themselves in the, in the, they were placing themselves in the victor's seat and that's not where they feel like they are right now. That's not where they feel like they are. They feel very anxious. They have a lot of their imagination is going crazy because you're not there. You've pulled yourself away from them. And it's like they, you can't answer any questions for them. You couldn't even energetically answer questions because you hang on. I dropped a card. You um pulled back your energy. But they're sitting like, okay, they're trying to learn something. This is why they're spying because they want to read into this information. They really are, they want to know what's going on. They want to have a, a type of conversation with you and still not get drawn into arguments at the same time. Like they understand you have a very keen sense of mental agility. Like you're very sharp in your mind and you live in the present. It's like you understand the way that things go. You do have like this level of wisdom and discernment. They see that you have this gift of prophecy and you're awakened in your mind. So it's like you're going to meet them where they come to you at. Or yeah, you'll meet them where they're at. Okay, is that all? So for outcome, I see the outcome being positive. Like I see this as like happiness and excitement. I really do see this as like a new fresh start and a new beginning. Like this will bring in better days. This person is really worried though, because they feel like they left you out in the cold for so long that, um, or this connection out in the cold for so long that it was almost like completely dead. They feel like it's saved by the bell. Like they feel like they left this in a space of lack and just they left this in, um, you know, like this used and abandoned feeling on you and left you feeling lonely and alone for so long that it's like it's a it'll be a miracle that they can save this by the bell. They want to take action quickly because they feel like you're just very unique. You're somebody that they would love to have on their team. You speak the truth. The, you know, you have this level of intelligence. You have this sense of wisdom and experience. And you also have this gift of intuitiveness. You might even say things to um, people collective. You might just be having like just an average conversation with someone. And you might, you know, just intuitively say something that really you know, affects them or comes to pass. This could have happened a lot with this person too. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, guys. You're so wonderful. Love you. Bye.